Evening friends, let me try this real quick. Wanted to bring you up to date on what I've been doing. Um, my lease on the kitchen table is just about come to an end and I'm about to be evicted. So I wanted to bring you up to date. And uh, I didn't put this up here like I wanted it. Show and tell. But there it is. I'm doing a restoration on a CDE ham radio rotor, and uh, I'm moving from a AR-10 um, analog control box, but they're both analog, um, to a ham-2, CDE ham-2, which is a little later model uh, control, control head. Uh, this is an AR-22R uh, rotor. And I'm uh, updating, updating it and, uh, excuse me, while I'm doing a restoration. I set these out to uh, Powder Tech in the Industrial Loop in Orange Park. And uh, they did the powder coat. They media blasted and did the powder coat. And here's the bottom. Here's the base. You notice there's a groove here. I'll tell you a little about that groove on both sides of this. There's a little groove on both sides of that. Basically, this rotor, if you look at it, it has four terminals. If you look on the back of this one, there's eight. Uh, the limit switches and the potentiometer uh, was the big difference on this. And uh, let me uh, show you it in operation. We'll turn it on. And I've been through this already and I've checked it out. And uh, you see it hit the limit switch and stop. Now I'm not going to sit here and go all the way around. But uh, trust me. Now while that's moving, you see these lugs, there's three of them. They fit up in these, okay? And at the very top of that, it's got a notch in it. Well here, there's a notch on the potentiometer. This is just like you find in your gas tank. And there'd be a float hanging on the end of this. And when it would turn, your gas gauge would go up and down. But just like this, if I turn the potentiometer, the gauge goes up and down. Gives me a heading. Okay. Increments of five, five degrees. And, of course, when you... The big difference is this button here. Your... Cam fours and uh, tail twisters and that, they all, they're all bigger operating uh, rotors. This has got the small motor in it, and I didn't change it from the uh, AR-22R, but they're a little thicker, and they can move uh, big ham beams. Basically, if you push this button, it puts power uh, to Terminal 2 back gear that comes up, and it fires a solenoid and retracts a blade. And that blade, actually, if you look down underneath this, there's another section. I don't know if I'll do that or not. But that blade actually came in and locked in like that on the inside. It would fire out and it would actually lock this in place. Unlock it from being in place. All right. And then you'd, you'd turn it. Okay. There's a lot of mods to these. One of them is a brake delay where you could take your finger off of this and the, and the uh, motor would still be turning just by the mass of the antenna, the big beam. This would still be turning and what would happen, you take your finger off of this and the brake blade would go out and it would start making noises up there and tear up your rotor. But basically that's it uh, on the mod. I don't know if I'll do a stainless steel gear or leave it aluminum. Uh, 
I, I don't know. I don't know uh, what's on it next. When I was ta telling you about it here, there's a set of bearings that ride in this. And uh, I think there's 49 balls that run in here on both sides. And uh, there's a nylon race that goes. The original had 12. Six on the top, six roller bearings on the top, six roller bearings on the bottom in a steel cage. And I'm going to upgrade this so the, this will be full of ball bearings here with the nylon gear. So it'll be a lot smoother operation. Uh, what I'm doing is I've actually operated this thing when I was a young man. Eight, nine, ten years old. I would go down to the gentleman's house. Actually, one of my Elmers uh, that got me started into ham radio. And uh, I got this from his wife. And I told her I would restore it and make it like new again or better than new. But I would go down to his house, turn it, and this little indicator here would go. And this is the old Kachunker unit. It would go. And each time it fired, it would move in increments until it reached the stop and it would stop. And uh, I actually did that. I remember doing it. And uh, he had a DAC-9 and a D-104. I'm lucky enough to have. I always I saw that radio and uh, I, I fell in love with it. But uh, I have the DAC-9, and I have the rotor, and the D-104. Uh, I'm not going to do anything to this. This is original, just the way he, he had it. And uh, if you look real close, you could see the markings on it, where he marked it, where his friends were. That's impressive. Uh, things in the rotor assembly I didn't want to do, but I had to do it. I really feel bad about it. Um, the point system that fired the solenoid in here, I had to take it out. And there's a gear that rides on that shaft that was had the cam that actually closed the uh, points to fire that solenoid to make it in time like that. I didn't want to do it, but I just packed full of I was afraid the gear would get into the wires and cut them and chafe them. And so I hope I did pretty good. I don't know if I'll spot tie these or not. I remember Billy Weeks doing the Aries mod on the P3s, Update 2s. He did a beautiful job of spot tying. They'll wrap it tight in a knot, move around, wrap it tight in a knot. And I wanted to try that. I might do it. I might not. I don't know if I'm not that energetic or not. And I don't know about putting the brake uh, solenoid on it. It will take it if I could find the everything. But there's the where the uh, the uh, terminal board goes in the bottom, and it just goes right through the inside of it from here and stretches down, and you just mount that on the bottom. It's about that thick. But that's the latest on my ham radio project. I need to find a 24 volt bulb to go in the me in the uh, meter meter light. But that's it. How about that? Huh? This is impressive over here. I've had all this apart, stripped it all the way down. Um, next is grease bearings and grease. Oh hey, yeah, uh, I have to pull all this back apart again to do a good grease those gears and uh, the bearings will go here that's easy but the, this ring gear and uh, the, the grease the gears that's going to be my next step with the bearings but I thank you for watching this was uh, an unexpected challenge I didn't think it would be that, this hard alright let me get this off the table. I'm really happy about this. I'll put the covers on it and leave it all together. All right. Thank you for watching.